First tonight at 6, the city of Atlanta unveiling a new emergency medical services center to cut down on 911 call wait times. It's part of an ongoing effort to address concerns after multiple fire stations in the city were closed last year. 11 Lives' Karis Belger went straight to the Atlanta Fire Chief for more information. So, Karis, what did the chief tell you? Well, this building just behind me is specifically designed to deal with emergency medical calls. According to Atlanta Fire Rescue Chief Roderick Smith, those make up the bulk of the calls that his agency receives. But he and other people who live in this neighborhood are fully aware that there is still concern about the lack of fire stations in very crucial areas. Gregory Ellis has called Southwest Atlanta home for decades. I'm over here in 71, where well, it's kind of nice and quiet sometimes. Quiet, he says, even if there's an emergency, because it takes a while before he hears sirens when he and his neighbors call 911. Most of the calls that come for fire are actually EMS related, and that's why we designed and built this right here. This is the new EMS station that just opened on Campbellton Road. It's the first of its kind in the city dedicated to medical emergencies, staffed with paramedics from Atlanta Fire Rescue. And it's part of a larger plan to reduce emergency wait times in Atlanta. What we have is a large uh, group of aging uh, citizens on the southwest side of Atlanta. So it gives us an opportunity to get to them quickly. Residents tell 11 Alive response times have been a concern after three fire stations were forced to temporarily close last October due to staffing shortages and the number of broken down engines and ladder trucks. But Fire Chief Roderick Smith says changes are coming soon. We started placing the orders a year and a half ago. We had one truck that is now with the vendor and we're waiting to accept it and we should be getting it within the next week. It's the kind of announcement that makes people like Ellis hopeful if an emergency strikes, he won't have to wait long for help. It'd be more close and quicker around here. Now, Chief Smith also mentioned that his agency plans to add an electric vehicle to the fleet. It's part of a pilot program that will be rolled out later on in this year to help city services cut down on emissions and make things more envi environmentally sustainable. Karis, thank you so much.